the one big reason you're supporting John McCain? Well, because I think Obama is a communist. And my husband said, don't use that word, say radical or Marxist. But, um, you know, Karl Marx wrote the book, The Communist Manifesto. So I don't see why people are afraid to say the word communist, because I've done a lot of research. And I read the book 1984 by George Orwell twice. And um, I was walking through the airport, and every magazine had Obama's picture on it, every one. And I turned on the TV, and every channel had him on it. And it's like uh, Castro in Cuba, or uh, uh, the guy in China, <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, Saddam Hussein. But Ms. Jackson, like, if, their you, pictures if you everywhere. look, do you really believe that, that he's going to employ, Ms. Jackson, a Castro-like um, policies if he's in the White House? I think we've already started sliding into socialism with the government now controlling, uh, the liberals are controlling all of the uh, TV channels. I mean, the only not, one not telling the truth one, is you Jackson. This is the only one we and want. Where the, where the so are you ready to uh, join the Tea Party people? I am the Tea Party people. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're um, beginners at this political activism, and it's all new to us, and it's kind of cute because we're shy. Name one thing Obama's done. One thing he's done. What has he done? What has he done? What has he done? What has he done? Yeah, hey, you found those over there, Dennis. We're holding up our signs like this, you know, despite what they say about us. We At one point, a man whose sign said he had Parkinson's sat down in front of health care opponents. If you're looking for a handout, you're in the wrong end of town. Nothing for free over here. You have to work for everything you get. No, 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 I'll pay for this guy. Here you go. Start a pot. I'll pay for you. I've never done anything like this, but we have to because the president's a communist. Now, he is not a communist, but, but you, just, uh, you just pointed out that you hold up signs and stuff like that, and people make fun of you. What, what do you think about how some on the other political side have tried to diminish or, or, you know, or marginalize the Tea Party people? Well, I guess they're afraid of uh, the power of our passion and our numbers. Um, and, you know, you might not say communist, but I watch Glenn Beck and he's taught me well. Um, progressive is the new word for communist, but it's the same goal. That's government control of everything. And it's very obvious that Obama's trying to do that. And um, I don't want to brag, but I sort of called it uh, before he was elected. And when I was on O'Reilly and I said he was a communist and uh, I got a lot of hate mail, but I got some that said I was prescient, which means a prophet. Yeah, I, I'm sure that that was his word of the day one day. Uh, Victoria, what is going on in the country politically that you feel so uh, motivated to go out to Searchlight Nevada this weekend? Well, for one thing, I am thrilled to get to meet Sarah Palin because yeah. she's my hero. And, you know, we need um, people who are not politicians in political office, but people who don't want power, people who are honest, people who don't take bribes, people who don't lie and cheat and are tax cheats. Our, our government is all evil right now, and someone's got to do something. And I just can't sit at home and watch TV and bite my nails. So I think that's how yeah. all the other people feel. we got to get out there and do something. I have heard a lot of that, where people say, I've never been political, but now is the time to act. All right, uh, Victoria Jackson, who's going to be in Searchlight Nevada, along with Governor Sarah Palin this weekend. Thank you very much for joining us live. Bye.